Yes, good. Another example question com um, concerning the ordering of a set of numbers. Um, guaranteed you're going to get a question similar to this one on an exam, yeah, so be careful. Understand these signs. Um, so I should put my largest value here because a crocodile always eats a larger value and my smallest va value over here. Yeah. So this is actually uh, then written in descending in descending order. Yeah, from big to small descending order. Okay. So I have a half, one over three, six over 13, four over five, seven over 18, two over 19, one, two, three, four, five, six numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. But it's quite difficult to compare, yeah, which one is bigger, six over 13 or four over five? It's difficult, yeah? And in previous videos I've shown you um, how do you approach a question like this. You write them all down either as a decimal or perhaps as a percentage or as a fraction but then with the same denominator, okay? So, um, my experience is most of you prefer decimals. So let's write everything down as a decimal. One over two, that's 0 0.5, yeah? If you don't know that, one divided by two in your calculator. One over three, that's 0 0.333, and that goes on with many more threes, okay? So let's write it down like that. 6 over 13, well let's grab my calculator. 6 divided by 13 equals, uh, that equals to 0 0.4615 and more decimals, well I'm just gonna write down these four. I think that's gonna be enough. 4 over 5, it's the same as 8 over 10, so 0 0.8, yeah? But if you don't trust me, uh, or yourself, perhaps 4 divided by 5, 0 0.8, yeah? You've got all the reason to trust yourself, eh? so be confident. All right, seven divided by 18. Well, I'm just gonna check that one. Seven divided by 18, 0 0.3888888, so let's put a nine there. And two divided by 19, at two over 19. It's not gonna fit anymore, is it? So 0 0.10526 and goes on, okay. So I've converted all of these numbers into decimals. Again, you don't have to. You can also turn the denominators all uh, to the same number. Uh, so find equivalent fractions, or perhaps you want to go to percentages. Uh, but anyway, one format, and uh, so now you can compare them. And how do we compare? We look at place value. Yeah, so what is the most important place value? Well, that's the unit, the zero. Well, that's all zero. Is zero, is zero. So they all have zero units. Yeah. So we just move on to the next place value, and we're looking for the biggest number. Yeah? It's a five, a three. So I'm just going to put my finger. It's the largest so far. So far, four, an eight, definitely bigger, a three, and a one. So this is the biggest one, zero point eight. And then I said, yeah, careful. You do not write down zero point eight. You have to write down 4 over 5, yeah? You have to write down the original number they give to you, okay? The 0 0.8 is just for our own reference, okay? 4 over 5 over here. So, again, the 5, the 3, so the 5 is bigger, I keep my finger here, the 4, the 3, and a 1. So 0 0.5 is the next one, yeah, hang on a minute, 1 over 2 that is, yeah? 1 over 2. Okay, let me put a let me put a cross there. A cross that I can still see and read the number, eh? That's just that I know I have done that one. Okay. A 3, a 4, so this one is bigger, a 3, and a 1. So this one is bigger. So the next one, 6 over 13. 6 over um, 13. So that is the next one. Let me put a cross there. Okay, there we go. Then I have a three, and again a three, they're the same, and a one. So now for these two, I've got to decide which one of them is bigger. So I go to the next place value, uh, the next significant figure, it's a three, and over there an eight, yeah, so this one is bigger, okay? And now careful, because I messed it up a little bit, that is the seven over 18 in this one, and eh? not the two over 19. It's the seven over 18, seven over 18, then it's the one over three, yeah, because that's a three, that's a one, two over 19, to 
finish with, okay? So I've ordered my set of numbers here, yeah? I turn them all into decimals, I compare their place values, and I write down the original number they give to me, not the decimal, that is just for myself, okay? I hope that was useful, I wish you a very pleasant day.